Hey crafty friends, this is Jen from Katahdin Crafts and I am back on the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel today with this fun beach camping slimline card. Now this card is featuring a whole bunch of Lawn Fawn products. I don't know about all of you, but Lawn Fawn is definitely one of my favorite stamp making companies. I have a ton of their products and I create with them every chance I can get. So I was super excited when this new release came out and I couldn't wait to get my hands on these stamp sets. This is some more of the merrier. How cute are all these little critters? And of course they're doing some of my favorite summertime activities, which is sitting by a campfire and making s'mores. And how adorable are these lawn cuts, the build a campsite set. And then this release also had this really neat mountain stencil. I didn't end up using it today, but I wanted to show you because it goes really well with those other sets. So does this forest backdrop. And at one point I thought maybe I would use some of those grass blades and the stars and the moon, but I decided to make this a daytime card instead. I did pull out some of my older sets and I'm using this tropical backdrop today and smooth sailing and life is good. These are, like I said, some of my older Lawn Fawn um, sets, but they're still available and they're going to go perfectly with this concept of my card today. Now, to get started on my card today, I die cut a bunch of the different pieces of the Build a Campsite Lawn Cuts, and I also went ahead and used my Jet Black ink and stamped out all of the images that I wanted to use and a few extras that I didn't end up using onto some 110 pound cardstock. That is what I prefer to do my Copic coloring on. And now as you can see, I'm just playing around with the different um, sets that I cut out and decided on this darker orange and the lighter orange for my tent. I could have really either gone either direction, the darker in the back or the front and vice versa. And now I wanted to ink blend a little bit along the edges. So I'm using some Walnut Distress Oxide ink. And to tell you the truth, I could not find my finger dauber anywhere. I have since found them just tucked away into a little corner. Um, but anyway, so I spent a lot of time looking for those and I just decided to grab out my blending brushes and go along the edges of these lawn cuts just to give it a little bit more dimension. My card panel size is eight and three quarters by three and three quarters, which works out great for a nine by four slimline card. That is my favorite card size. My card base is the white cardstock, and then for my beach area, I cut the same size and craft cardstock, and now I'm going to make my sand. So I'm just using my Tim Holtz scissors and cutting a wavy line along that cardstock. And you can see I left it a little bit longer or taller on the corner, and then just waved it out, making it look like a sandy beach and I'm going to adhere all of my tent pieces together right now with some liquid glue for some movement, some wiggle movement. And this is just because I wanted to plan out my card a bit and make sure that I liked where I had that beach area. And so I needed to make sure that I had plenty of space left over for the tent to be on the beach and not in the ocean. But that was my whole concept because I will be, um, camping this month or next month this summer I guess I should say at the beach so that was my inspiration behind this it is definitely an affordable way to go but here in Maine we definitely don't have palm trees but I thought that this was cute and now I wanted a cute little lighthouse in the back and this is from the smooth sailing set that I showed you at the beginning and I needed to figure out how it was going to anchor that little lighthouse. So I had played around with some of this craft cardstock and some wave um, dies that I just, it just wasn't working for me for what I wanted to see. So then I thought, well, maybe it will work for the lighthouse. So you can see how I'm playing with this and thinking about just an island back in the ocean. 
So now that I have my kind of my blueprint of this whole setup of the card, it's time to go ahead and put together the rest of the pieces. So I'm just going to adhere those palm tree tops to the tree trunks, all three of them. And I also put the fire together, which I love these lawn cuts on both sets that I'm using today, how they have layering dies that you can use different colors and then layer them together. And how cute is this little lantern? Now I could have made this with the little flame. You can see in the back corner of my desk, there's that little piece that you can pop up to make it look like it's lit. But again, I was doing my concept in the daylight hour. So I just wanted to make sure that it was still there, but it's not lit up today. So it's just still dark. And now I'm mapping out where the beach line is going to be and I'm gonna put my sky in. I'm using a little tumbled glass and I'm just going to ink blend that down. I was removing some of that excess ink so it'd have a nice light background. And as you can see, I used just a little pencil sketch just so I wouldn't go down too low, although it really wouldn't matter because I'm gonna cover that all up. And I'm just laying out my sky, nothing fancy. I'm not putting any extra clouds, but you can see how I'm not making it completely smooth and covered. So it kind of looks like there are some clouds peeking through already. And then I'm gonna use some spun sugar and just give that a little bit more color in that pretty sky. If you look, there's never really a truly blue sky. There's always a little bit of extra color in there especially later in the day. And then when you use the tumbled glass with the spun sugar, you really get three colors because you get a little bit of purple in there as well with that color blending. So now I have my little beachy sky all done and it's time to make my beach. So I'm using my Distress Spray in Vintage Photo. This is just a color that I happen to have and I'm using in my fancy dancy spray box that I have. And I'm just going to shake that up really well and then squirt that on. And I had to remember to get that island. And now I had some like yellow gold paint in my stash and I'm just adding that too for just a little bit more color and some liquid stardust from Lawn Fawn. That gives it some really pretty shimmer. And I add that and I always do a little squirt of water with my distress sprayer. And then I'm just gonna flick that on there too. Going back and using just a little bit more and then watering that down as you can see. That just makes it go a little bit further and gets a nice, really nice splatter on there. So splattering everywhere and then I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry and I'm going to build my ocean. Now the fun thing when you're doing a die cut heavy card is that you can use your scraps. So I have these wonderful scrap buckets and I'm just digging through all of those for this card. So right now I found some water tones, some ocean tones that I liked together and I'm just doing a tearing. So I'm tearing it to make sure that the top part of the tear that you can still still that you can see the core of the paper underneath and I'm just going to layer these in the color coordination that I like. And I also like that effect that the tearing gives you because it makes it look like it's a rough ocean out there. You're seeing the choppy waves and it just really gives that nice depth um, and effect. And now I wanted to make it look like the beach was going to be having like a surf line. So I wanted to get some of that foamy kind of water that you see when you're at the beach. So I'm using some shimmery cream color that I had in my stash and just tearing that as well. And I'm trying to keep this kind of thin and it didn't matter that I didn't have a piece that went all the way along again because it's all torn that it, it really is a very forgiving technique. And so now I'm going to speed along through my Copic coloring. Um, I did very, very simple Copic coloring for this card today. The images are very straightforward, so they didn't need a whole lot of blending and shading. And you can see all of my Copic marker caps on the screen for you if you wanted to follow along with those. And I'm doing what I normally do is I map out my light color and then I build up my dark colors on that to get my cardstock wet and then that blends out a little bit easier and I can pull it out. So that's what I'm doing on each of my images. Now when I'm doing my speed coloring here is a good time to ask, has everybody checked out the new Scrapbook Pal website? 
they just launched a website, a new website within the last couple of weeks. It's absolutely fantastic. They have been working super hard getting it ready for everybody. Um, if anybody's ever tried to do a website, it is not an easy task. So they did a great job. I make sure that everybody goes and checks it out um, because it really is fabulous. Now you can see that I'm doing my marshmallow here and I wanted it to make sure that it looked like it was roasted. So I just added little dots of some color, brown color on that. So it would be a toasted marshmallow, yummy. And now it's time to layer all of these torn pieces together and make our ocean. And you can see I'm just fitting those behind my beach. And now I'm just gonna glue all of that down together and layer and I did make a little mistake that you're gonna see soon because I had to put that island back in there and of course I glued that all down and didn't think of that you know it always happens so I just had to go back with a little exacto blade I'm gonna show you that in just a few minutes and just lift up some of those layers so I could slide my little island for the lighthouse in there and you can see it's very simple though to just keep on adding all those layers it does make the card a little thicker but I still, I, I love this technique. I love tearing. I do scrapbooking too, and I like to tear my, my um, cardstock on those as well. And now I'm just gonna figure out where that's gonna go, and this is where I'm discovering that, oh, I cannot slip that island in there. Darn, Jen. <laughs> so I'm just going to finagle with that and get that in there. I also added a little piece of torn sparkly cream paper in there just like on the surf because I figure that that water is crashing against the island as well and now I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue behind there to make sure that that was in place and we just need to add the beach now to the card base and I am overhanging that as you can see because I want the lighthouse to be slightly off that panel because we're going to put that on the card base and that does have a little bit of room but I didn't want to lose any of that lighthouse so now I just have to trim off the excess on each side and on that bottom now that I have all of my elements ready to go I'm gonna put a couple fine details a little doorknob on the lighthouse and then these little tanks the little tent stakes I thought needed just a little bit of rust or usage look to it so I just added a little bit of marker onto that and of course everything is sticking to my fingers at this point because of gluing <laughs> so I love the set how all the little details like look at those tent stakes aren't they amazing they're just so tiny and detailed and it just really adds to the card and again I absolutely love that little lantern and I'm just popping up a few things here or there to give dimension. I'm also gonna use a few of those foam squares underneath the palm trees because we added so many layers that just for some stability purposes, I'm going to put it behind the palm trees on the top and behind that lighthouse as well. And I thought that this little owl needs to be playing the ukulele around the fire, how much fun. And doesn't this look like a fun trip? I want to go with the critters right in, and do it right on the beach, right? Camp right on the beach. How fun is that? My camping trip is a little bit up from the beach. It's in with walking distance, but no palm trees, like I said, and not right on the beach. <laughs> I thought that I needed just a little bit more of something on that space, and I like to anchor down those palm trees with something underneath each one so I added the seashells and then I thought that this crab that is in the life is good set from Lawn Fawn would be really nice and a little pop of color as well so I'm just gonna color that up and add it and then these little tufts of grass came in the palm tree the tropical backdrop set with the palm trees so I'm just gonna add those under and again it's just all those little details and that is like I love doing detailed cards like this. It takes me a little while and you know sometimes I don't get as many done as I want to but I this is the way I like to craft. I like the detailed cards and Lawn Fawn and I guess that's probably why I like Lawn Fawn so much because they have all those little details 
And now to coordinate my base with my card panel, I'm going to go around with that R17 that I used in the lighthouse and on the crab and just go around the edges about a quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to have an exact match to my card. And I'm going to just adhere that down with my favorite liquid glue, which is that mono adhesive. And as you can see that bled through, sometimes I do another layer, um, another frame layer and add my marker to it. But this time I did not. So I did have a little bleed through. So I'm just going to hide that with some coordinating cardstock that again, I had in my scrap stash and make that nine by four to go right on that card base. Now, as you can see with this card, I decided not to add a sentiment because I'm going to decide who I give this to for what occasion. And so that doesn't lock me down to anything because of course this was time consuming. And if I have a birthday or I just want to say hi to a friend or whatever, I, I don't want to be locked down to a certain sentiment. So I decided that I'm just going to wait, but there's a little added surprise inside the card with that palm tree. And then I anchored that down with a little bit of the cardstock to look like a beach. And I showed those sentiments that I could put on. There's all sorts in that set. The s'more, s'more be merry set has a, a ton of options but I thought it was okay not to have a sentiment on my card today. And you can see that shimmer and shine that's with that liquid dust, the liquid stardust on the bottom of my card. And there we have our finished detailed card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your support. And make sure you go onto scrapbookpal.com and check out that new website. And everything that I use today in my card can be found there as well. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and happy crafting.